Hey everybody, it's Hobo Yo Yo here, and um, I just want to show a script I worked on uh, to help with RPG Maker dialogue. Um, so, if you have a lot of dialogue in your game and you want to proofread it, you don't want to go through every single map, every single event, and click every single box and go through everything. I think that just takes a lot of work. Uh, yes, you could do everything beforehand, but stuff changes. Um, so I made a script that extracts dialogue from your game, puts it in a text file, you can then edit your text file, run the script again, and the text uh, dialogue is injected back into your game. Um, so, for example, um, we have this dialogue box here. Um, this lady is supposed to say the town's name, which is called Drassel, and instead she just says Moo. Um, so that would be kind of a, you know, I don't know, a spelling error, a grammaring error. It's some type of error. So we're going to go and fix that. Um, so if you can see on the bottom middle of my screen, if my mouse is showing, uh, this is map number 63. Um, so we're going to run our script and change the text and uh, fix everything. So close out your game and you're going to start my handy dandy uh, program. Before you do that, you want to make sure that uh, wherever your, the program you're running, the folder, um, that your map files are in this folder. So I'm going to go to the 63rd map file. I'm going to paste it in here. Um, and of course, back everything up uh, just in case. I have I fixed every error I possibly could find, but there might be some I'm not aware exists. But here we go. So you run it, um, and it's going to ask you what your starting file is. So you can do multiple files, but they have to be sequential in ascending order. Uh, so you, if you go through file 63 to 70, it has to find all of those files. You can't miss one of those files. So you're going to start at 63, and what's your ending file? So I can type in 0 or type in 63, so I'll just type in 63 again. Uh, then it's going to ask you if you want to make a text file from the JSON or take the text file you have and inject it back into the JSON file. So we're going to type in 1. Uh, and it's going to go through each event and it just kind of tells them done running the file and we can close the window. All right. So if we open up our folder, we now have a text file. Uh, if we open up this text file and drag it over here, um, it is now the entire uh, dialogue from, from that map. Uh, it also shows the events um, just for better like navigation, mental navigation. Uh, the one caveat, and this is important, is the number of lines needs to match uh, from when you started editing it to when you're done editing it. So you can't add a new line. Uh, that will break the script. It'll tell you beforehand. It's not going to overwrite anything. It'll stop you. Um, the best solution to this is to have word wrap on. And um, that way it'll automatically add the new lines for you. So... Um, I've already edited this, so originally it said Moo, so I changed it to Drassel. I'm going to save it. Alright, that is saved. And now I'm going to run my program again. And just make sure everything is closed out. Okay. So I'm going to type in map 63, map 63, and then I'm going to type in 2, and I'm going to press enter. All right, so um, here it even told me that uh, it found the new line, um, and it tells you what it is, changes the text. Um, any characters, any special character should work. It's just on the terminal. They just come out weird, but they're fine. Uh, I haven't had any issues with that. So I'm going to close that, and now I'm going to open my folder, and I'm going to take my new map 63, and you'll see that it just updated uh, to the time. I'm going to take 63. I'm going to go to my uh, game file, I'm going to paste it, place file and destination. All right, and if I did this very simple thing correctly, uh, the dialogue should have changed. All right, and now her dialogue is uh, changed. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I'll put a link in the description of the video. If you have any questions, let me know. and. Uh, if you would be so kind to check out my game that I'm developing, uh, Banbard, um, it's coming out on Steam soon. Uh, well, soonish. I'm excited about that. I want to develop it on the PlayStation systems too. Um, so yeah, let me uh, let me know, and you all have a good day. Bye.